Hey everyone! Welcome to my 200th video. That is an amazing amount of time that I have spent in front of a camera talking to myself. Um, but I'm glad that you're here watching and I decided for my 200th video to do one that has been requested a lot and that is an updated makeup collection video. It's not a tour of the finished bathroom because honestly I haven't washed the floor yet and I kind of wanted to do that before I showed off the bathroom. If I look a mess, it's because I've been cleaning, getting ready for you guys. I reorganized my whole bathroom. Sit back, enjoy the tour, and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so if you're sitting with me in my bathroom, this is what I see. I'm pushed back a little bit, but um, here's what I'll do. I'll pan back. So here is my vanity area and um, there's little knee hole space so when I'm talking to you rookie's always right there on one of those two little lambs wool pads that's where he hangs hi rook yeah and um, so I've just finished reorganizing and I haven't even wiped down the counters or cleaned the mirrors so there is some dust but this is not about house cleaning, this is about my makeup collection. So without further ado, let's get started. So the makeup mirror, hi, is from Costco. I think it's still available. It's uh, $19.99. It was $19.99 and I love it. And the other side swivels and it's uh, um, magnifying. Now all the dogs are here. Okay, and then to the left is my new purchase. I just got this yesterday. I got it at Michael's. It is $35 and then it was, I didn't even need the coupon. Right now it's on sale for 40% off and it's for crafts and it swivels. And clearly I'm not crafty, but here's what I have in here. So right here in this compartment, and I was so excited to, to shoot this video, by the way, that I did my nails. This is Zoya True, by the way. And, um, I don't know if you can see the gold flecks, but anyway, they're still wet. I didn't even wait for my nails to dry. So in here I keep all my face brushes. I have my Real Techniques, Real Techniques collection. This is a flirt brush I got at the CCO. I love it for highlighter. There's a Sephora airbrush that YouTube sucked me into and I use it on occasion, but not often. So that's there. And then underneath it is a drawer, and I don't remember what's in here. Oh yes, my two little pout polishes are in there. Then we swivel some more. These are my eye brushes. I have my <sighs> crease type brushes, my rounded brushes, and oddly shaped brushes in this section. And then behind it, hello, are the um, flat brushes, shader brushes. And um, some of them are dirty and some of them aren't. And then here, I don't know what you would use this for, probably scissors and stuff. These are. This is a silver Sharpie to mark on black um, makeup stuff. Sometimes it's nice to write what it is and it's usually in black so silver shows up. This is a pen to take notes on. And then in this section are my tool type things. So this is brush cleaner, Japanese brush cleaner. I got it Ulta. That's my MAC Studio Fix. Uh, this is the little $10 travel size that I've used quite a bit and there's quite a bit left so I don't know if I'll ever justify buying the giant one. And then this is a Lush um, hand cream moisturizer. And then what's underneath this? Ah oh, yes, Q-tips. I like these. I got these at CVS. I'll just zoom in a little bit. I got these because they have the pointy end to like do some detailing cleanup work. And then they have a flat end almost like a uh, eyeshadow brush. So good for cleaning up mascara and other little issues. This is supposed to have a photo frame, but um, I put a fortune in here that I got at the... You'll never know what you can do until you try. So that's that. And then in here I have my Tarte eyelash curler and my mascara that I'm currently using. And then in this section, I don't know that I have anything in... Oh yes, I have a couple little samples. There's a foundation sample and uh, Snow Fairy, the solid perfume. I just like smelling it from time to time. And then these are all like my kind of <sighs> base things, like my NYX jumbo pencils and my liquid eyeliners are in here. My um, One Urban Decay Shadow Stick. Is that what they're called? What is this called? 
shadow, Clydon shadow that I got as a gift. And um, I think, oh yes, some, trying not to ruin my nails here. Some, I got these as a set a long time ago and I never used them. These are those midget size um, Urban Decay pencils. There's zero in here and then there's some more fun colors like that one, gunmetal. So I just pulled them out as I was cleaning so that maybe I will actually use them. There's a lip balm from Dermaquest. It's very nice, I like it. And then this section, the front section, there's a little divider here. I don't know if you can see down. See, there's a divider. So the front are all my um, eyeliner pencils and eyebrow pencil. And then behind that are lip liners. And this little hook, I hooked my other, I need to clean that, I'm well aware of that. This is my e.l.f. eyelash curler. And I hang my little tweezers there. And then in the middle is um, my tinted moisturizer, another Dermaquest shade, um, 3N, this is more of my summer shade, my extra Dermaquest sunscreen that I put on just before I put on my makeup, scissors, orange stick nail file. So that is that little guy, and I love it. And then behind that is my counter cleaner. That's, um, I got this at Walmart. J.R. Watkins All Purpose Cleanser. It's a lemon smell, and it's lovely. And then over here, I have this little set of drawers. I have my, um, my favorite lip balm that I put on as I'm putting on my makeup usually. And then in here, I really need to organize this more, but these are some of the lip glosses that I use every day, and I haven't sorted them all out. And I know they all look like they're the same color, but in my sick head, they are not. It's pretty dry. So I have to, I'm going to resort these into like nudes, pinks, and darker colors, but for now they're just all thrown in there. And then these are my collection of Eco Tools brushes, my Kabuki brush collection that I do use, all of them. Um, that's hand sanitizer. This is the Coconut Lime Verbena. And then this was a box. These two boxes, this was sent uh, with Zoya with some nail polish in it. It's empty. This one was sent by, uh, I got in a swap. And that's what I prop my camera on when I film. Although I'm gonna start filming, I think, in my family room again, so we'll see about that. And then this is just a paper towel holder that I don't know where I got that from. Then as you sit down, I have these two drawers. This side is face products, this side is eye products. So let's go over here. So, I'm gonna scooch around. So, um, and there's Bosley doing inappropriate things. Hey, Bosley, we're looking at you. Yeah, and there's Memers. Hi, Memers. Okay, they're thrilled. So in here, I keep like, I keep all my everyday, I shouldn't have said his name, now he's here. Go away, stop it. So I have my um, Garnier Nutritionist under eye circle, and then I put the Revlon Age Define Concealer on top of that. These are my two Dermaquest foundations that I use. These are two other shades that I use. Um, Cause one's cool, but I have, ex this is 2C and 2W. I refuse to accept that I have really, really, really pale skin. So I warm this up a little bit. And then there's my Inglot concealer, my Inglot highlighter, two shades of the Superstay concealer, my Collection 2000. I gotta ask everybody, if you have Collection 2000 concealer, what is up? with the ink rubbing off. I finally just took a paper towel and scrubbed it because every time I would hold it, it would get black ink all over my fingers. It was very annoying. Some Dermaquest primer underneath there. And then Bobbi Brown concealer, MAC Studio, what is it? It's dirt, I have no idea. Is it Studio Fix? Studio, Pl one of their concealers, the hard one. That is a sample. This is Laura Mercier, dang it. Laura Mercier moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, my NYC bronzer, my Airspun Cody, my two samples of BB cream that I love, actually, I have to admit. This is another sample size of Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. This one is the Natural Radiance. What is this exactly? Let us see. Tinted moisturizer illuminating. Yeah, I like it, but it's quite dewy. There's some more samples back there. Then this is my blush collection. It has gone crazy. So these are all my NYX blushes. This one is um, taupe, and that's what I use for contouring. And then I have pinched. 
I don't know. It's either peach or terracotta. Peach, terracotta, making a mess, angel, stone, then my one Smashbox blush, um, orgasm, and then all my elf blushes are here. This is a subscriber sent this to me. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this in the stores. This is an elf highlighter. Um, so I should put that like that. There we go. These are my two sleek blushes, the rose gold, and this is suede, and then this is rose gold, and then my sleek contour kit. Two hard candy blushes. Um, that's honeymoon on top. My two Milani blushes. I love this one. This is luminous, not luminoso, but luminous. And I don't know what color this is, but it's purpley. It's kind of cool for fall. My one MAC blush in buff that I have definitely hit pan on, but I'm still scraping the sides. Um, my Coralista sample, a Bayou blush that I got from a subscriber, and a Catrice blush, very pretty. My e.l.f. palettes, that's the golden bronzer in there, and the contouring blush and bronzing powder. This is my little sample of Lorac Spotlight, Perfectly Lit and Spotlight. That's a Dermaquest concealer, which is pretty cool. It's a light, whoops, light and dark. It's more of a firm, it's, it's very similar to the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage consistency. Um, this is cool. This I found when I was cleaning everything out. I want to show you this, if I can open it. It's filthy, I'm aware of that. And I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but... It is a limited edition Be Dazzling Shimmer Powder in Glimmer. And it's my, it was my first highlight. And it doesn't look like much in the pan, but it's velvety soft. And it looks like crap on camera. But it, <laughs> it has, I don't know if you can see the glimmer to it. It's really pretty. It's a just beautiful soft glow on the face. And then underneath that is my hard candy one, which I also adore. And there's a Dermaquest bronzer that they sent me to try, but it has some shimmer in it, so it might be nice for summer, but right now I'm not into it. And my one cream blush that I have. So that is that drawer. And then over here is the eye stuff. So, I have my Wet n Wild Shadows. What is this? My NYX Brown, my Sally Girl Eyebrow Powder, my, I don't know how that got over there. My three MAC, four MAC singles that I own outside of the palette, the, what is this, Amber Lights? Yep, Amber Lights, Sable, Contrast. This is a Nude Beach, which by storing this way, this is the Bare Minerals Nude Beach, which by storing it on its side will guarantee that it will get all over the place, but that's how I'm storing it for now. This is, um, was sent to me by a subscriber. It's a really warm brown, almost plummy um, color. Oh, and I think this is Nehru. This is so old. This is the first MAC. God, is this disgusting. I have to clean this. Nehru. It's kind of a cool black. If carbon scares you, that's very workable. And then my ginormous single kitten. And then this is another really cool shadow by Nevea. It's a dark brown, just matte. Very pretty. Can't get that here. Thank you, subscribers. Some more NYX colors. This one is White Pearl, which honestly I think I'm going to chuck because it, it's very powdery and I just I don't like it. And then this is my favorite YouTube purchase, one of my favorites. This was La Vera, a uh, subscriber sent this to me, and this is the Magic Gray, I believe, with makeup on it. Yes, Magic Gray. Stop. And um, it's, I've used this in quite a few looks and there's a whole tutorial on it. So that is that. And then the second section, and these are just, um, I should have said this earlier, but these are just like um, desk drawer dividers that I believe I got at either Target or Walmart. I've had them for a while, so it's hard to remember. These are my paint pots, um, Bear Study Soft Ochre Rubenesque, and my friend Katie gave this to me. It's called Morning Frost that I'm actually wearing today. These are all kind of subscriber swap type things that I got and um, I pulled them out because they're beautiful and I never use them so I'm hoping if they're in front of me I will actually use them. And then these are my Catrice shadows. I love the packaging. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love the packaging. But this is a pretty color too. This is, um, do we know? Gilbert's Grapefruit. How cute. 
And this I wanted because I saw Mischievous use this in a tutorial. It's such a pretty purple. And it's called the Violent Violet. And then this is the L'Oreal Dazzling Khaki I picked up in London. And that's the Sleek Molten Metals that you saw in, in an earlier video. And then this is the NYX Nude on Nude palette. And then I'm not going to pull all these out, but these are all my Wet n Wild um, six pans, three pans, my one limited edition. Thank you, Jess Lola Marie Seven. This is an Yves Rocher trio that Miriam gave me, and I can't get it open, but here we go. I really like these colors, and I use especially the brown one a lot. My CoverGirl Shimmering Sands trio. Uh, the one Sonia, Co San Lula, Sonia Kashuk quad. I love this quad. I know they still have it in the store. And then my one MAC palette I own. And then the two Wet n Wild 8 pans are stacked underneath it. And then a couple more eye bases. This is um, out of focus is what it is. This is coming to focus. There we go. This is NYC, like their loose shimmer dust, sparkle eye dust in, I think it's champagne, and I, I used wore this yesterday. It looks really nice on the lid, blended out with a warm brown. This is an e.l.f. cream eyeliner, and there's some Physician Formula ones down there. A P2 eye souffle, which is very similar. It's a cream shadow. Um, eye base. What else is back there? Oh, yes, and my... MUA palettes, and then way behind that is all are all my Revlon cream shadows, and then my this is kind of like the bases cream eyeshadow section. So eye bases, primer type thing. That's a P21, and then these are the shadow blasts. That's what's in those two drawers. These are the drawers I use. This is the stuff I use on a daily basis. And then there's one drawer to the right. <sighs> this is where the sickness comes in. These are all my lipsticks, literally all of them. And I just got these loose, these acrylic containers at the container store yesterday. They're $6.99 each. And there it is. There's my whole collection. My one pet peeve is you really, if you store the MAC lipsticks right side up, then I have no idea what color they are. So I store them upside down. So I've got my, I tried to organize these a little bit. So these are my Revlon Color Burst, my Essence, my Two Berry M's, Maybelline, and then I just went to the, my P2 collection, basically. And then everything else is just kind of shoved in there. And then there's stuff that's still in my purse that I haven't transferred out. These are all my palettes. I'll sit down. My Sleek palettes. There's some more. My Heaven and Earth palette. Pixie Nude Shade Wardrobe. Solely bought this because of Ruth, a model recommends. Never use this. Damn you, Ruth. Um, but it's a really pretty palette. My Stila Naturalized palette. My other Stila palette. Urban Decay's back there. Where are you? There you are. These are just random bits and bubbles, as they say. Um, this needs to get sent to Shani Banny, because I got this for her in London. Um, a backup of the Sleek Storm palette. This is a really nice e.l.f. six pan. I don't know, this is like the back to school edition. What does that say it's called? Can we see? Natural Eye. Um, two loose pigments that I do use on occasion. The Bourjois pot that's crap. Backup e.l.f. palettes that I bought. False eyelashes I never use. A backup bronzer. These are all face palettes. Not face palettes. Is there such a thing? Um, Inglot Press Powder, Estee Lauder Bronzer, Estee Lauder Compact, a backup of my, I'm trying to get a good angle, backup of my Sunny, my NYC Sunny. <sighs> I don't even know what this is. Something else, Milani, and these are a couple of three Estee Lauder blushes that I never use. So that is that. And then we move over here. This isn't so organized. <laughs> this is my hair stuff. This is my hairbrush, um, a giant pack of hair bands, my tangle teaser that I got in London. If you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend it. Headbands that I really only use to put my hair back when I wash my face. Scrunchies that again, I only wear in the house, like when I sleep and stuff. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at there. Just random clips. 
more random hair stuff, bobby pins, more random clips. That's that. Not very exciting. You've seen my what's how I store my nail polish, but just in case you wanted to see again, um, that's my tower. <laughs> Those are backup nail polish remover and acetone because I have it and I figure why throw that out. Back there is a backup of um, my Zoe nail polish remover and my random nail polish stuff. I also have another little cube of the stuff I use every day. Not every day, but like the stuff I use when I do my nails and that's sitting on my coffee table because I just finished doing my nails. And then this little jobby on the top drawer are my backup things. Like I went to Costco and bought a thing of cotton rounds and there's like six or seven of these still left in there. Makeup wedges, backup of um, cotton swabs. And this is cool, I just bought this today. Um, replacement blades for my razor and I'm really hoping these work out because these were only like six bucks and um, they're supposed to be just like the Venus ones, Venus Embrace. If this is the, the same package was like, I don't know, 10 or $12 at Target, their name brand. So I'm kind of excited. Hopefully that will be the same. And then in here, this is my, okay, everything in this bag here are travel size things for travel, travel size toiletries. This is all travel type containers, toothbrush holders, little jars for various toiletries. And then this is my sample selection, things that I get for sample that I want to play with later. And that is that. I have dogs everywhere. There's a nose. Okay, honey, you need to move because I need to get into those cabinets where you're standing. Basley, go. Basley, go. Hey, I'm talking to you. Basley, can you move, please? No. Thank you. No. <laughs> go. Go lay down. Go lay down. It's not all about you. Kiddo. Look at that face. How could you say no? How can I say no to you? I can. Watch. Goodbye. Okay. This is a bit more of like a mess. Now, in that bin are all my styling brushes, my round brushes. Those I use um, to put to wash my brushes. That bin right there are all my leftover lip glosses that I haven't figured out what to do with and I can't part with them because I do use them but not all that often. And then this is like the random stuff, like all my e.l.f. palettes that I don't have the heart to get rid of because they were the very first things I started collecting. Some glitter eyeliners, some the Urban Decay shadow. Remember I talked about these like in Facebook or on Twitter. I had to have them, the cream shadows, because they were on clearance for $3. Never use them. I need to figure out what to do with these things. And I don't mean like to give them away, like I need to start using them. I just haven't done that. Maybe summertime. Um, since summertime lasts like seven months here, they'll probably get a lot of use. All my Coastal Scents palettes. Okay, this looks like a jumbled mess. It kind of is. But these are mostly like my, my summer foundations. Foundations I'm not currently using. Foundations that I'll use to mix from time to time. There's NARS Sheer Glow, which I love. I do. These are like summer shades. This is a face mister that's awesome in the summer that I always have in my purse. Um, there's a Rimmel one in there. There's some Estee Lauder Max Coverage in there. There's a gel bronzer. Um, a lot of this is stuff for summertime. Uh, concealers that go with when I'm darker. Gemma Kid Light is Air Foundation. Again, a great summer one, but I'm not that color at the moment. It's unfortunate. And then those are my pigments back there. And then these are my backup mascaras. So, and then lash glue and my brow stencils. That is just um, random shampoo and stuff. And then on this side, I have Bosley again. Good gracious. More stuff. My hot rollers are back there. These are all my hair tools, all my curling irons, hair dryer, etc. And these are all like my lotions, hair products, and whatnot that are not organized at all. They were, but like there's my body butter and then there's my it's a 10 step. I mean, it's just a random, 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 random. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. If you've been here since the first video, this is number 200. If you've been here from the first video, please say something in the comments. It would really be nice to hear from you. 
And uh, for those of you that have joined me somewhere along the way, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here and I hope you stick around for at least another 200 and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.